how's it going? Uh, I have another Tesla video for you guys. And I think today's is the final one for all the new stuff on version 9. So I told you guys I want to do a video with just the phone app. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how the car can update on the phone. As you notice, I do have an update. Uh, it is there. Um, music control, calendar inbox, uh, send to maps. And there's actually like a little fix because there's a bug with send to maps through your phone. But I'm going to take you guys through all of that uh, in this video. And we're going to start off with the software update. So uh, as you guys can see, it actually pops up here now. I did have a notification. Uh, I open up the app and it says software update, approximately time to install 45 minutes. So if I click it, it tells you uh, you'll not be able to access the vehicle, the touch screens, your car alarm may be disarmed for a short period if enabled. And as far as I know, like a message goes to all the people, it goes out to all the people who have the app installed, the Tesla app installed with access to your car. So I hit install and I can cancel the update. Uh, and you guys can see I did just get a notification, uh, Mother Frunker, the name of my car. The software update is about to begin. You can cancel the update from the Tesla app. So, uh, I think it's like on the car. Oh, there it is. Underneath the top where it says, uh, 48%, my battery level. It says software update starting in a minute 33. So similar to where you're on the car, uh, it gives you like a countdown timer. So... A minute 25, the car will update. Uh, in the meantime, I want to take you guys to some of the new settings within this app. And then we'll we'll go through some other stuff. So we tick, click the top left. We can go to settings. Uh, they have an inbox. Uh, this isn't new with version 9, but it is new. It came out like, I want to say a few weeks before, version, before I got version 9. So it's a new Tesla inbox. They can send you important news and updates here. Uh, the only two I have so far is the very first one saying the inbox is new. And then new software update, uh, version nine. And it basically just tells you all the stuff. You can hit full details and go straight to the uh, blog post that they posted where it gives you more in depth about version nine. So uh, pretty cool. I've heard some people say that they've got uh, messages from their in their inbox saying, you know, tire pressure or things like that. Uh, my tire pressure was low. I did not get that message, but uh, nonetheless, inbox is new. How they utilize it, we'll see. It is in, it is for important updates, as they say. Uh, then we have uh, Lootbox, which is like uh, referral stuff. And this one does take a minute to load because, or a few seconds to load because it launches stuff. So if you guys are interested in buying a car, it can be any Tesla. Uh, do click that referral code. It is in the description. And that's basically your, just your Lootbox. Uh, video guides, notifications. Uh Notifications are for your car. Nothing really new here. Uh, supercharging. Summon, which... Yeah, fingerprint authentication. Oh, here we go. Calendar Sync. So, Calendar Sync's the last uh, icon. It was always in the app because it worked for the Model S and Model X. However, uh, now it actually works on the Model 3. So, if you haven't got version 9 yet and you enabled Calendar Sync... You want to just disable it because it won't actually sync your calendar. You have to do it when you get version 9 on your Tesla Model 3. Uh, and then you can re-enable re it and it'll sync with the car. Otherwise, it's just going to say calendar not synced. Like, it's just not going to work. So that's pretty much all there is uh, in terms of uh, the the app update here. Uh, I'm going to flip the screen uh, once my update goes, see it says software update in progress. So my car is actually updating right now and I cannot drive it. So I'm gonna flip the screen. I'll show you the car that is updating. All right, so as you can see, the update has started. It's on the screen, not much more to show here. Uh, I'm gonna wait for the update to finish and then I will flip back and uh, we'll take you right to uh, the music control and map control. All right, so uh, now guys, I wanna show you guys the media uh, built-in phone app, as well as uh, sending map navigation. And I did mention a fix to the map navigation, and I'll talk about talk more about that when I get to that. But let's do the media first. So I'm going to just scroll this up so you guys can see what's going on a little bit easier. Uh, right now it's playing. Uh, my audio is on mute, or it's like the lowest possible, so there's no background music. Uh, but I'm going to click media here, and you guys can see you have some pretty simple options. You can increase the volume, and... Uh, you can hit play. 
you can hit next song, previous, and you can hear the audio playing right now. So but I'm going to get rid of the audio. I'm going to lower it back down. So pretty simple interface. Uh, and then you have your favorites, forwards, backwards. And as you can see on my screen, it all does flip back and forth between your favorites, your songs, and everything else. Uh, the app itself is really simple. Uh, you just go back into your main screen. You hit media while you're in your car, and you have media options. Uh, some things I like to see is a specific app for Tesla Media, so I can like give quick access code to a passenger in the back. Because right now I have to give them access to my full car, and they have access to all my settings, not just uh, the media player. And it's not super easy. Like they can't just download the Tesla app. Uh, and just have access, I have to give them access to my whole account. So that is something I hope that changes. But for what it is, it is an improvement because it didn't exist before. So let's uh, just scroll this down now. And as you guys can see, I am not navigating anywhere. Uh, like I have no navigation set. So I'm going to go back here and I have the Tesla Gigafactory. I searched it up on Google Maps and I'm going to hit share. I can share it to the Tesla app and it is sending and you'll see on my car in like a second it is there ready to go so in the morning or afternoon or whenever you're ready to leave you can actually just grab your phone or if you're even in your car and you're surfing on your phone and you want to you find something cool and you want to send it you can just quickly send it off to your car now uh what i was mentioning before is a fix is apparently there was an app that fixed it where like right now you can't actually send uh you can't send locations you can't send map addresses outside of Google Maps, like it fails if you do it on a, let's say you get a receive a text message or uh, you find it through a website or something, uh, it does come up with an error. Uh, but apparently there is a, there's an app that fixes it. I just, I tried it, it just didn't work out very well. So I was gonna include it, but uh, it didn't work to how I like. So I'm not gonna bother even mentioning it because it's not good. So hopefully this is something that Tesla fixes in the future and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is. But as I mentioned before, this pretty much does it for all the version 9 uh, new features and updates and things like that. Like, I've covered everything. So uh, I'll be going on to new and better things uh, in terms of Tesla videos going forward. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not. Uh, new Tesla stuff pretty regularly. So that's it. Thanks for watching.